y'all my name is Whitney and welcome to my channel I'm so happy you stopped by here on perfected imperfection I share my thoughts with you on things like makeup fashion and lifestyle topics I also do reviews and tutorials so if that sounds fun to you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon and turn on all of your notifications I would super appreciate it in today's video we are going to be talking about the Disney's Baby Collection by ColourPop. So let's get started. All right, y'all. Today we are starting off this episode by taking a stroll down memory lane. Also, just to warn you, this video does contain cuteness overload. So brace yourselves. Bambi was released on August the 21st in 1942 and was the fifth film in Disney's animated canon. It just seems so crazy to me to think about how long ago that this movie was released. I mean, I grew up on Disney films and Bambi was one of my absolute favorites. It was actually one of the first movies where I cried. <laughs> uh, it teaches you about loss at such an early age, but also about finding beauty in the little things in life. Uh, now, as far as my favorite characters go, setting Bambi aside um, for obvious reasons, my favorite character has to be Thumper. Bambi has tons of adorable forest friends, but Thumper is just so super precious. Now, let's hop into this collection. You see what I did there? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, so I was able to get my hands on the entire collection for once. Thanks, ColourPop. Uh, the entire Bambi collection cost $115, but you can also purchase these items individually as well. First up, we have the, oh dear, faux lashes for $10. Um, the packaging on this entire collection is just so friggin' adorable. Uh, the lashes slide out, and this is what they look like. Very wispy, very like, oh, we're walking through the woods and we're all just so beautiful and natural and wonderful. That's the vibe that I get off of these lashes. Now, you all know, if you've been here, you know, I struggle with lashes. I'm attempting to get better, but I doubt that I'll be wearing these today, but they do look really, really gorgeous. Now we have our Morning Light Pixie Puff Highlighter for $16. Has that same bright, beautiful packaging with the artwork of all of the characters on here. And then if you open it up, it comes with this big puff that is just so super soft. I really, really love how this feels. And then um, I don't wanna get myself super glittery, but uh, you do have the inside where the highlighter glitter comes out. This would mainly be great for doing body, um, body highlights in the summer. Uh, so that's probably what I'll be using it for in the summertime. Today, I'm going to try to grab a little on a brush and put some on my face, but it looks really, really beautiful as well. And we have the Life in the Woods Creme Gel Liner Kit for $24. Um, this contains three creme gel liners. The first one we have is Raindrops. It's a like brownie pink color with glitter in there. And it looks really, really cute and pretty. Um, definitely a good spring liner. And then we have Meadow, which is just more of a cream, creamy beige color. Um, I love using lighter gel liners uh, on the waterline to kind of just pop your eyes open a little more. It, it does create a really nice effect. And then we have 
pretty. <laughs> um, a really beautiful purple mauve color that just looks really, really stunning too. Again, all these colors just perfect for spring. Next up is the Twitter Pated Luxe Gloss Kit for $27. Again, I love the packaging on this. Just like the um, lashes, this slides and you get all of your glosses out. The first gloss that we have is Bambi. Super cute. The character uh, on the gloss packaging is in gold with that bright neon top. Just really, really pretty looking. Bambi itself is um, kind of like that, again, that like brown, pink uh, vibe with those glitter reflex so very much like that um, liner and then we have flower a beautiful purple gloss with um, pink and blue reflex in there super super pretty I'm very interested to see how this looks on the lips and then we got my fave uh, we have Thumper in this super pretty pale pink color with gold reflex in there as well. Just super stunning. Now, let me smell this too because in my last video I didn't smell my products and how dare I. Ooh, that's very interesting. This smells like... It is something from my childhood, like a candy, kind of like, like a sweet Pez. And I know that sounds stupid, but like a sweet Pez. Very interesting. All right, now these next items you can purchase as a set or individual as well. We have the Forest Friend Shadow Palette Set for $42. Or you can do the individual palettes um, for $14. First up, we have Bambi. Again, the artwork is just beautiful on these palettes. And then you open the palette up and it has a little mirror in there and then the um, character on there as well. So the shade names are Little April Shower Faylene, Young Prince, Kinda Bashful, and Whitetail. Now, this color story screams more fall vibes to me, but I really, really like it. It's really good for, you know, the everyday wear. I really love that color of Faylene. It looks really, really pretty. And then we have flower. Now I won't lie, this color story just is so stunning. Um, this screams spring to me too. Lots of beautiful purples in here, um, but it also has like a darker shade. Um, but the shade names are so shy Pretty Flower, oh gosh, uh, Little Stinker, and Hibernating. So friggin' cute! The So Shy shade uh, also looks just really, really beautiful. So, so far I'm gravitating towards the Flower palette. But we got my fave! We got the Thumper palette. Again, cute packaging, the artwork, it has that mirror in there with the character. The shade names on here are Miss Bunny, Friend Owl, I'm Thumpin', Long Ears, and Great Big Feet. <laughs> Wonder how many times that I'll say so friggin' cute in this video. Let's, you know, if, if you are counting, just let me know in the comments down below. But this, um, I really, really like this color story for spring as well. You do kind of, um, 
it's kind of like, I don't know, like um, brown purple shades, but then you have that pop of like green kind of teal looking. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting, the colors in here. Um, but I think they did a really, really great job. A lot of people were complaining about ColourPop's five pan eyeshadows with these, but I don't know. I think they did a good job. What do you all think? Let me know. Again, these are giving me just such spring vibes and I can't wait to play around with them. I will be right back and I will give you all of my thoughts. All right, you all, I am done, and this is my finished look. Tell me what you think. I really, really like it. Um, so let's just go, you know, through everything. I didn't use the lashes. Again, I promise. I promise I'm going, I'm practicing, okay? Okay, I'm practicing. But on my lashes though, just as a side note, I did use, um, to kind of go with the theme, I used the L'Oreal pa Paris um, Bambi Eye Mascara in uh, Extra Noir. And I am really liking how this mascara performed. It looks like it, you know, extended my lashes um, and really, really lifted them. So yeah, I, I'm going to have to see how it wears throughout the day, but so far, I really, really like that mascara. Um, the Morning Light Pixie Puff Highlighter, I did put on my cheeks, if you can see. Now again, I would not use that highlighter for your cheeks. Um, it's really, really, in my opinion, I think meant more as a body highlight. So, you know, now if I didn't purchase like the entire collection, would I necessarily gravitate towards that? Not really. That's just not my personal cup of tea. I don't necessarily wear body highlight unless, I don't know, I'm going to like an event or something outside and I don't really do that often so you know but as a side note <laughs> it looks like a little deer tail how fresh I love that um okay the Creme Gel Liners I used on my waterline, the shade Purdy. Um, and, you know, I liked it. I had to warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand to kind of get it going. And um, it wasn't like the most pigmented gel liner that I've ever used, but it, it was pretty okay. I'll be curious to see how the other ones perform as well. Now, y'all, 
these little shadow palettes I'm absolutely obsessed now no shade to you know my main squeeze thumper like I liked his color story too but the purples were just truly calling my name they just said Whitney use me and I did um I love the all the shades in here um, I used so shy on the inner corner and then kind of the brow bone what a gorgeous shade like it looks really really white in the pen but then you put it on and like it's this beautiful like I don't know like lavender color it it kind of like it, it switches colors when you turn your head a different way um, which I love and then I used Pretty Flower in the crease and then on half of the lower lash line. I used Hibernating on the outer corner. And the only complaint I have about Hibernating is whenever I was blending it out, all the glitter that's in there, it does go away. So for that shade in particular, if you're wanting it for the glitter, I probably would recommend like a glitter glue at first before you put that shade down just as a side note and then I used oh gosh <laughs> um, I layered that on my um, lower lid and then I also kind of put it over that hibernating shade and it just made it everything blend together so beautifully now if you're not familiar with ColourPop shadows they do have fallout they are quite dusty and have fallout in the pan, and you will also have fallout on your face. Now, if you're like me and you don't care about that, then go live your best life, because I know I don't really care about that. Um, but if that is a concern to you, then I probably wouldn't recommend this palette. But if it's not, then yes. It was so cute, and I think they planned the five pans in all of these palettes really well. Um, you have lighter shades and darker shades in between all that goodness. So I think you can get a lot of looks out of these palettes. Flower though probably is going to be one of my favorite color stories. But then I do, I do feel like I'm going to use Bambi in the fall time because it just screams fall vibes. Um, so maybe I'll come back on here later and do Bambi for fall. <laughs> and last but not least, these Lux glosses. I have used ColourPop Lux glosses before and they're so comfortable. They're not sticky, but they, they leave your lips feeling very hydrated. Now, since I used the Flower Shadow Palette, I decided to use the flower Lux gloss as well and it has such an interesting color obviously these are you know not necessarily the most vibrant glosses um, they're pretty sheer most likely you should wear these over a lipstick but I wanted to just wear the gloss by itself and yeah it's really pretty though I think it would go really great with maybe like a pink liquid lipstick or even like um, kind of like a deeper brown or mauve like that might be fun too but yeah I love it has like these blue and purple reflex in it and it just I don't know it just looks really really pretty so overall you all I think this collection was a hit. Packaging was on point, the formulas were on point, and for me personally, the price is on point. Um, if you get these shadow palettes, they're just $14 a piece. I mean, yes, there's only five shadows in here, so you're mainly paying for the artwork, but it is beautiful. and. As I'm looking at my desk and everything laying on here, it just looks so stunning together. And I don't know, it just, it makes me feel happy. And I like things that make me feel happy. So I do highly, highly recommend this entire collection. What a cute journey. 
<laughs> I love when makeup and things that I love combine to create something special and memorable. Colourpop also recently teamed up with Disney for the Child Shadow Palette from the Mandalorian series. I recently did a tutorial with that palette as well as I shared some of my favorite moments from last season of The Mandalorian. So if you have not yet seen that video, please go check that out. I would really, really appreciate it. I think ColourPop is just truly killing the game when it comes to all these co creative collaborations. And you know, who knows? Um, I might be reviewing another one very, very soon. So stay tuned. That wraps up today's video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today on my channel. If you liked this video, you can let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to continue to hang out with me, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all of your notifications so you'll know as soon as my next video drops. But most importantly, always remember, imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous, then absolutely boring. Bye, y'all!